blessed day everyone so today I'm going to show you how to check the wash motor of the washing machine so the wash motor is responsible in doing the laundry or washing our clothes so the rotation of our wash motor is the forward and reverse or the clockwise and the counterclockwise rotation so in checking the wash motor we need to identify first the common and the resistance of the forward and reverse wire should be the same so that the power in clockwise rotation and counterclockwise rotation is the same speed okay po now first thing we need to do is to set the VOM to times 10 times 10 or times 1 so much better if we use the times 1 range right so calibrate the multi-tester by shorting the test probe and adjust the zero ohm adjustment knob so that the needle or the pointer will proceed to the zero or goes to zero ohm okay so if the pointer or needle is in zero so you you can now use the multi-tester so next thing you need to do is to write or we need to measure the resistance of the black and red black and blue red and black red and blue and then blue and red and then blue and black so after measuring we need to add the resistance okay first we need to write the color so black and red black and blue then red and black then red and blue and then blue and red and then blue and the black so we need to measure the resistance of the different wires first we need to measure the black and red so here is the black and red so red and then the black so the measurement is 30 ohms so the resistance of black and red is 30 ohms next we need to measure the black and the blue so here's the black so we uh, we do not need to have the polarity because we have we are doing the resistance measurement so we have the black and blue so the resistance of black and blue is 30 ohms so we have here the 30 ohms and then after measuring the resistance of black and red and black and blue just add the resistance so we have 60 ohms so the resistance of black is equal to 60 ohms so that will be the resistance of the black next we have to measure the red and black so this red and black we do not need to use the multi-tester because the black and red is the same with the red and black so the resistance of black and red is the equal to the resistance of red and black which is 30 ohms so next we need to measure the red and black resistance or the resistance of red and black so the red and uh, sorry the red and blue so we have here the red wire and the blue wire 
So the resistance of the red and blue is 60 ohms. The resistance of red and blue is 60 ohms. So that's it. Then we're going to add the resistance that will be 0. Then 3 plus 6 is 9. So we have 90 ohms. So the resistance of the red wire is 90 ohms. Next, we have the blue and red. So same with the red and black and black and red. Blue and red is the same with the red and blue. So the resistance of red and blue is equal to the resistance of blue and red which is 60 ohms and the blue and black is the same with the black and blue so the resistance of black and blue is equal to the resistance of the blue and the black so which is 30 ohms then you're going to add so 0 6 plus 3 is 90 ohms so blue the resistance of blue is equal to 90 ohms now so we have here the resistance of the different wire or different wires so the lowest no, the lowest resistance that is the common so the lowest resistance that is the common so which is the 60 ohms. 60 ohms is the lowest resistance. So it means that the black is the common wire. And the red and blue is the forward or reverse part of the forward or reverse. Same with here. The forward and the reverse wire so after knowing the common you can now connect the wire of the wash motor to the circuit the common is connected now the common is connected to the line 2 of the outlet the red and blue wire is connected to the capacitor so suppose we have here the wash motor no? wash motor the common is connected directly to the line 2 while the red and blue or the forward and reverse wire is connected to the capacitor and then connected to the wash timer wash timer and then connected to the line one that is the importance of knowing the common of the capacitor, uh, the wash motor. No? That is the importance. So this will be the black. This will be the red and the blue. Or the forward. So the red and blue wire can be interchanged. You can uh, connect the blue to the upper side of the capacitor or the red to the lower side of the capacitor. But, do not connect the two in shorted manner. Do not connect it or cross it. No? You can uh, connect the blue to the upper part and then or red to the lower part. That's why it's called it call the forward and reverse wire. No? Forward and reverse wire. Or count, counterclockwise and the counterclockwise. Okay? They are the responsible in doing the counterclockwise rotation and the counterclockwise rotation. As you can see also, that the resistance of the red and the blue are the same, 90 ohms. So that the power of the rotation during the counterclockwise rotation and the clockwise rotation 
is the same speed. That is the importance of the same, no? the same resistance. It is, uh, that's not like uh, the spin motor that we need to find the start and the run winding. Okay, so that is how to test the wash motor of the washing machine. If you have any question, that just uh, chat it in the comment box and I will answer it immediately or uh, with all my uh, knowledge and skills. Thank you and God bless.